Hello my crafty ghouls and goblins. I hope you're having a spectacular day today. Welcome back to day four of the 13 days of Halloween hosted by Rosa Kelly Scrapbooking, Elizabeth Garza from Live Craft and Love, and yours truly Robin Pitts with Sir Chauncey Rocco Creative Design. Today I have a really fun project to share with you. We are going to make this adorable box and Halloween sucker treat cup. Now you may be asking yourself, hmm, what exactly is a sucker treat cup? Well, think lollipop. It's actually a cup that you can fill with fun candies and it's actually on a stick. I'll show you that in a moment. I purchased these files online at the Cutting Cafe, which is owned and operated by Regina Easter. I will be sure to include a link to her store. In this file, I received the box, as well as the layering components and the sucker treat cup. So let's get into this. I love the way this box turned out. I used a 110 pound black cardstock. However, you could easily use 65 pound cardstock and it'll work just fine. I used a fun Halloween paper, which is actually quite old. I embellished this with a orange grow grain ribbon and then this black flower with this glass seed bead. This box measures eight by four and three quarters and the depth is one inch but as you can see it's just an adorable very sturdy box and there's that little sucker treat cup there poking its head out okay so let's take a closer look this is what the sucker treat cup looks like as you can see it fits perfectly in the box before I give this away, what I will do is include repositionable tape so that it holds in place. And then also I'll include some scrunchy paper just so that it looks a bit more full. This sucker treat cup was very easy to make. You get all of the files to make this, including this scalloped here. You have several different layers and you also get a variety of Halloween sentiments. There are 12 in all. And then I've filled this here with some fun candy corn. I've embellished it with these foam glittered bats. We have a little ghost poking its head out and then I added this fun ribbon. We've got the more of the orange grow grain and then this sheer black and orange ribbon that says boo. And I used a black and white straw. I didn't have a lollipop stick when I was making this so I just improvised and I think it looks fine. This is the back of the cup. And to get the candy, all you do is pull this piece out. And then you fill up your cup with all of the candy. As you can see, the candy's not going to come out. It's nice and secure. Now that you've seen how adorable this project is, let's go and make it. I'm going to go get my supplies and I'll be right back. I've cut out and assembled all of the pieces that we will need in order to make the Halloween Sucker Treat Cup. Here you see a variety of layers. This black scalloped edge is what you see here on the back. You've got your layering pieces, your sentiment pieces, which you can see right here, and then you have a piece to finish off any of the rough edges. Here you have the mechanism, which I just showed you back here, that allows you to close your candy box. These two pieces here are going to be the cup holder and this will be the front of the cup and then I also have this piece of acetate. The first thing we're going to do is to make the actual base for the treat cup. To do that I need this piece of paper here which is cut into a circle and it also has several little tabs here and then I also need to use my acetate. What I'm going to do is glue the acetate onto this. This will be top of the treat cup. So I'm just going to take some glue and where I'm going to glue is right in the inner part of where this perforated line is. Can you see that? I'm just going to use my art glitter glue because it dries really fast and also clear. So I'm just going to put a nice thin edge around, not too close to the edge of where the opening is because I don't want the glue to seep out. And then we're going to put that acetate right there and give it a few minutes to dry. 
I'm going to let this sit and dry a little bit and then work on something else because you want to make sure that there's a really strong adhesion. I'm going to create the background for the cup. So I'm going to take these two largest pieces and let me just show you how this is going to be assembled. I'm going to have this green piece. I'm going to have this fun spiderweb paper. And as you can see, when you put it down, it leaves just a very tiny border. And then I'm going to layer it with this sentiment. And then we will have this finishing piece to clean up all of the edges. So that's what our base of the treat cup will look like. So let's start gluing some of this down. I'm going to put this down just like so and you want to make sure that it's even all around. Before I glue any more layers on, I'm going to go back to my treat cup. Now I see that the paper has adhered well to the acetate. I want to turn it over and then I want to start bending down these little spokes like so. This creates the cup. Okay, so when you finish, you ha should have a piece that looks like this. Now that we have this piece completed, we're going to take this black piece and we're going to wrap it around this base. So we're going to glue it just like this. I'm going to curve this paper just to help train it so it'll go around the cup more easily. What you want to do is line this piece right where the edges are, right where that perforation line is, like so. So I'm going to start here in the center. like so and have that hold just for a little bit. Once you finish gluing this piece on, it should look like this in a circle. Next, what we need to do is glue this to our designer paper. So I love the way this little spider web looks. And to do that, what we need to do is fold these edges up And then we want to put glue on the background here, all around this. Okay. And then we're going to put this on top of the circle. It should have a nice snug fit. Press this down just like this. Okay, so now that we have this adhered, we're going to glue on the sentiment piece. This says, eat if you dare. I'm going to put some glue right around the back. If you have directional paper, you want to make sure that your text is facing up. I want to make sure that I can still see this little spider over here, so I'm going to put it just like this. Don't worry about this little area here that you can still see. We're going to cover that up. We're going to use this little tiny piece that's going to go on top here. And this will fit right over the cup. You may have to wiggle it just a little bit. Okay, so now that we have that together, what we want to do is glue this piece to the top here like this. So glue this and you want to make sure that you center this right over the circle and that you have an even border of this green all the way around. Now we want to create the back of the treat cup. To do that I'm just going to flip this over and I'm remembering that we have this little spider leg over here and these are the sentiments that I want facing up so I'm going to turn this around like so. You want to get a lollipop stick or a straw. I'm using this straw and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pinch the edges just like if you were making a wand or a rosette you usually pinch the top that's going to be glued down 
and I'm going to stick it right down here at the bottom of the cup. You want to make sure that it doesn't go over, but it's right here at the base. I'm going to hot glue this down, and then I will be right back. Now that I have my stick glued down, we're going to glue on this back cover. Now one thing I want to point out is that you notice that you have two circles and then you have these two perforation lines. This lets you know where the stick should be. So it should be right in the middle of this. These circles are glue marks. So you will glue from this circle all the way here and not in between here. This is where the cover will go. So it'll slide in just like this. And I'm going to use hot glue to make sure that there is a very strong adhesion. Now I'm only going to apply the glue on the outermost rim, okay? You don't want to put it here because then you'll be covering up the circle to put the candy in. Now that we have the back glued on, we can put our little handle in and it just easily slides in and out just like that. Let's fill this with some candy. I'm just going to use regular candy corn. You can put in whatever you like. Now that you have your candy in, we can put this back here. And if you shake it, you'll see that this candy is not going anywhere. And this is how adorable it looks on the front. Now we have two extra pieces remaining. This is a finishing strip and it goes around the circle. So what I'm going to do is glue that in right now. What I want to do is make sure that the seam is here on the bottom because then I can cover that up with a bow or something. So I'm just going to put it on around this little box just like so. I'm going to start right here at the bottom. I'm going to wrap it around and then the two pieces will meet and close. I'm just going to hold that there for a few seconds. And last but not least we have this piece here which will go right on the top. So this is our completed shaker and you'll notice that we have this extra piece here. It's perforated and scored so you can just fold this piece back. Now that our sucker treat cup is complete, let's make the coordinating box. I'm going to go grab the materials and I'll be right back. These are the pieces to make the box. We have the top lid which has the circle opening and then we have the bottom lid. We have a front layering piece. We have a finishing circle, acetate, and then I've cut strips of paper to cover the side of the box. The first thing that I want to do is to attach the acetate onto the layering piece before I adhere it to the back. So I'm just going to put this behind here, like so, and I'm going to glue it down. You want to make sure that you have the glue far enough from the center circle because you don't want the glue to ooze out. We've glued the acetate on to the back of this cover sheet. Let's glue this onto the lid. This is a lid and this is going to go right on it just like so, right in between where the perforated lines are. You want to make sure that you have it centered. Now we have this decorative piece, which is going to go right here. Now we have these strips. These strips did not come in the cutting file. However, because there's an, a one inch spine across the box, I thought that it would finish the box if we added decorative paper all around. So I'm going to go ahead and glue these on the sides. Now we have all of our decorative pieces adhered down. Let's start to assemble the boxes. What you're going to do is fold on the score lines like so. And then we will attach the edges. These tabs here go on the inside of the box. And you want to do that for both sides. You want to line your edges up just like this. And there you have it. Your box lid is complete. Okay, so let's do the bottom. I'm going to go and score on all, all sides just like we did for the top.
So now that the base is done, let me go get the sucker treat cup and put it in the box. This is the finished project. I simply added on some orange bows, this spider web bow, this little glitter wooden veneer spider, and then this little ghost here. I think this looks so cute. And that's going to go inside just like that. And there you have it. All this is missing is a few embellishments. I'm going to go get a bow and I'll be right back. And here is our finished box. I love the little spiders here. These are flocked. So they have a nice fuzzy furry feel to it. This concludes my review of my Halloween Sucker Treat Cup and Box. Hopefully I've inspired you with some fun and creative ideas. If you like this video, please take a moment to give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe. And also don't forget to hit that little bell so that you will always receive my videos. Please be sure to join the other channels featured in this 13 Days of Halloween craft series. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for Day 5. You won't want to miss it.